Welcome to The Last of Us Part 1. It feels so good to be back in this game, and we're replaying it on this channel because of the HBO show it launched this week. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go watch it. It was great. And we will be talking and kind of spoiling episode one of that show. It isn't really spoiling if you've played the games before because they're fairly close to the same. But there is some big differences, and we'll be talking about that in this video. I'll be doing one video of this series a week, and after nine weeks when the show's over, the series will be over. Maybe I'll replay part two, maybe not. Um, but I know the series on HBO is just like the part one, I believe. We have already replayed this. Um, we have not replayed. We have played this game on the channel before. Um, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing New Game Plus, and we will be using fun outfits. I haven't purchased any of these yet. But we're going to use every one of these between the base game and between Left Behind. But we're going to do the Sarah scene, the opening scene in the regular outfits. And then when we get to Boston, we're going to go gung-ho and start throwing in outfits and weapon skins and backpacks and just having a good time with it. I will try to get every collectible, but we already have the platinum trophy for this game from the first playthrough. Already have the platinum trophy, so there's really no trophies we can get, but we will be able to fully upgrade every weapon and get all the perks, which we could not do on the first playthrough because they physically don't give you enough supplements and parts. But with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into it. New game plus. Play through the game again with all the upgrades obtained in the previous playthrough. There are two new game modes. Full loadout carries over all weapons and, res and recipes, unlocking them early in the game. In classic, they are unlocked on normal progression. This is kind of talking about on the original Last of Us remastered, like, or the original Last of Us on PS3, there was New Game Plus. But, like, if you wanted to get, like, you wouldn't have the rifle or the shotgun or the flamethrower from the beginning. You would just have to play the game like normal, and when you unlocked the flamethrower, you would the, the upgrades would carry over to it. Or there's full loadout, which means you get all the weapons from the beginning, which is what we're going to do. Just because I think that'll be more fun. We are going to be playing on Moderate Plus. I think moderate plus is slightly harder than regular moderate. But one thing I want to point out is Ellie's knife is in the window seal. It, when we start the game and we come back to the home screen at the end of this video, it will not be in the window seal anymore. It's only in the window seal when you're not in like a, when you only have a completed game save. And if you start a game, the knife disappears. I've seen some symbolism. It's kind of like showing, oh, if you're playing a game, she needs her knife. So it's not there. But if you are done with the game, the knife's in the window seal because she doesn't need it. That's kind of what I've seen online. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments. But yeah, I think that's kind of a cool little feature. New Game Plus, Moderate Plus, and this is where tutorial messages, we don't need that. Permadeath, I do want to beat part one and two on Permadeath and Hardened eventually. Like I would love to do a full Hardened playthrough and then like a full Permadeath playthrough, probably on an easier difficulty but not this time because I don't want to risk dying. But we are going to switch this to full loadout. Speedrun mode would be cool, but I'm not super into speedrunning games. Yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, and let's start. One thing I will say is the beginning of the HBO show started with something completely different. It was like a, a clip of like some scientist on like a talk show back in the 60s. And that was very powerful, and I was not expecting that. Um, unfortunately, the game kind of just jumps right into Sarah. And that's one thing that um, I really like that the show did is they added like to more Sarah. We had Sarah for like 30 minutes in this game. You get her for maybe 15. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents a Naughty Dog game. We, Tommy, Tommy, in, listen, in the HBO show, you got to see Sarah go to like school, her. see the neighbors. Okay, I can't lose this job. I, I understand. And when Joel left at night, he wasn't talking to Tommy. He had to go bail out Tommy. Like I said, there will be spoilers for the show. But he had to go bail out Tommy. And you got to see Sarah cook breakfast for Joel like earlier in the day this day. He had to work a long shift. He's construction. Crud, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. I still today. Let him diddy. Please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. And then he has the watch. In in the show, she did not buy the watch. Joel already had the watch. The she time? just took it to go fix it. So that was a big difference there. She was fixing his watch with his money. 
But there was still the drugs line. You kept complaining about your broken watch. So I want a lot of conversation in the yeah. comments. So if anyone's seen the show, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I think this is if you haven't, you should watch it. It's what? nice, but I, I think it's stuck. It's not. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell so hardcore, hardcore drugs. drugs. Okay. <laughs> Started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. And right around here, they put on Curtis and Viper 2, which is a movie they talked about in part two of the games. And then he gets a call from Tommy. Tommy's in jail. He has to go bail him out. And then he carries Sarah up to her room. But there was a whole, like, 30-minute section before that. Maybe not 30, maybe 20. Where Sarah was at school and talking with the neighbors and went to go fix his watch. She had the same t-shirt on. Except the only difference is the show outbreak takes place in 2003. This one takes place in 2013, which I will talk about later. And then the phone rings. In the TV show, the phone never rang. I think she woke up because of the, the helicopter flying over or a plane. Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something... Uncle Tommy? Hello? Yeah. It's tour 2012. Her shirt in the show said tour 2000 and... Um, what was that all about? Two. And it showed all the dates of the actual cities you go to. I think this one's the same. Oklahoma City, Chicago, Minneapolis, Boston, Pittsburgh, Colorado, Philadelphia, Salt Lake City. Why would they go from Colorado to Philadelphia and then back to Salt Lake City? I don't know. Here's her little soccer shirt. One thing I missed in my first playthrough, which I was really kicking myself in the butt for, is I never grabbed the phone again when I played this back in November. My little completionist did not like that. But yeah. On the show, there was like helicopters and airplanes and stuff flying over. Her window was open, which I think will come back Dang at the it. end of the game. I forgot to give this to him. Congratulations. You're not a fossil yet. Happy birthday. Dear Dad, let's see. You're never around. You hate the music I'm into. You practically despise the movies I like. And yet somehow you're still managed to be the best dad every year. How do you do that? Happy birthday, Sarah. I don't think there's anything else we can interact with. It didn't show a whole lot of her walking through the house. She got outside very dad? quickly. Like it never showed the bedroom scene, which I was pretty disappointed with. Like, she went into the bedroom, but you never... It's not the same as what happened in this. The newspaper. We're going to try to get through this fairly quickly. Um, spikes at area hospitals. The Food and Drug Administration investigates... Um, investigation of crops potentially tainted with mold. Which is how the outbreak started. I think in the game they said it was Daddy? in Indonesia. I, or in the, in the TV show, I believe. Maybe it was somewhere else, though. But it didn't start in the U.S. And one thing I I believe I'm right. I could be wrong. But I seen something online that 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 um the news anchor is actually voiced by Laura Bailey, which is Abby. I, I think. Yep. See, in the game there was never, or in the I, I'm gonna confuse my lot in the show. They just Dad? showed airplanes and like military coming in. We're in Austin, Texas. Dad? And one thing in, in the show, um, Sarah pretty much immediately ran outside because the He's dog was on. at her door. But we don't run out the store. And then she runs into the creepy neighbors, which I will say, the, the creepy old lady in the show creeped me the hell out but i think that was the point it was actually pretty scary or at least the suspense was scary but in this one it's not the same at all none of this ever happens in the show sarah would already be outside eight missed calls where the hell are you call me on my way so tommy's on his way completely different this time because joel had to go get tommy in the tv show and I know I'm going to be comparing them a lot, but that's what this whole series is about. I'm going to be home late tonight. Go ahead and order food. 
See you in the morning, Dad. Nothing too crazy over here. This tire swing gets me every time I play this game. And this whole scene is not present in the game at all. Your neighbor is infected in the in the game, but not like this. There you are. It's not Sarah, Jimmy. Are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just just stand what back. What if I there. do? Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. I don't think their so name was the Coopers in the TV show either. It was something they're different. Sick. We're kind of sick. Oh, that's Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy! Dad? Come here. Come here. Jimmy. Jimmy, get away from me. Jimmy, I am warning you. Don't! Yeah, this is cool, but the way they did it in the show... Very cool. You, you shot him. Sarah. He didn't have a choice. Listen to me. There is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. Come on. Okay. Where the hell you been? You have any yeah, idea in the show, I don't want to spoil this motion. part, but Holy she shit. met back up with Joel and Tommy, but it wasn't this way at all. Let's just get out of here. You're saying half the people in Sydney lost their minds. Can we just please go? Some sort of parasite or something. This is pretty similar to the TV show, except they were in a pickup truck. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. Can we hear what's on the radio? I am jealous that yeah, sure a thing. lot of people on YouTube went to the actual Last of Us premiere. I know I have 21 subscribers, so clearly I'm not going to anything like that, but I, I would have loved to. Yeah, we're doing great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. They say where to go. They said, uh, armies put up roadblocks on the highway. They this exact scene was in the game, the or in the out. TV show. Take 71. 71, that's where I'm headed. Not the way they're going, that's for they sure. How many are dead? Probably a lot. We found this one family all mangled inside their Tommy's house. That wasn't in the, I don't think right. so. But, I'm sorry. In the TV show, they all seem more panicked. Joel and Tommy just seem kind of, eh. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. First it's they everywhere. The south. Now they're going on about the east coast, the west coast. This was in the... There was a burnt Hell. thing in the TV show. That's Lewis's farm. One thing I like about the show is once the, the roadblock comes up up here, they just started off-roading in the show. They sure were driving through fields and everything. That was cool. Are we sick? No. no, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's yeah. right, he did. In the show, they justify that by saying they took the old, the old lady had to go to the city to get her meds. This scene was in the show, too, and it was powerful. Who do you think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joel. So do we. we have I'm going to rewatch it this week Keep before part no. the second episode comes out. You got to feel bad for them, but also, as a parent, I've seen what I've seen. I wouldn't take the risk. Someone else will come along. You should have. Helped. I do like how I don't want to spoil it yet, but we get crashed by a truck up here. In the TV show, they almost fake you out with a car, and then out of nowhere, a plane comes in. That Everyone was awesome. Mother had the same damn idea. See, in the show, they were like off-roading and stuff. We could just backtrack and. What the fuck, man? Let's go. Oh, bye bye. You better throw Tommy. that. Tommy! Throw Holy that shit. in reverse. Hi. Just happened. What the fuck just After playing happened? Resident Evil, I'm not scared of this oh, game man. anymore. Resident Evil is so much more scary. No, 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 no. Come on, people, move. What are they running from? Get us out of here. I'm trying. They did a really good job with the crowd on this. Like this part in the show. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't they did a good job. There had to be a hundred extras there. in there. Behind me too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. Oh. The TV show. There was a car coming from the side, but they faked you out, and then out of nowhere, a plane comes and just crashes into the road. It was awesome. One difference. Um, they did a really good job with this Daddy? escape. Like the whole escape scene is pretty short, though. Hey. Oh, when that infected was running after El or, um, Sarah and Joel in the show, that was pretty awesome too. It was like sliding around and 
And we're going to go in this episode all the way to about where the show ended, which will be in the outskirts chapter. So we about at least an hour, probably a little bit longer, I think an hour and a half. Oh, hell yeah, Tommy. Dad? I'm here, baby. I'm here. Come give me your hand. The show did a really good job with this part. My leg hurts. How bad? Pretty bad. We're going to need to run. Keep us safe. Yeah. We're cool, we're hold on tight. Okay. Yeah, all the extras in the scene the show did a really good job. I wish they had this gas station scene in it, but they didn't. Just keep your eyes closed, Go, honey. This is a cool scene. Oh my. I can't remember fully, but I feel like they didn't have the movie theater scene either. Those people are on fire. Don't look, Sarah. Keep looking at me, baby. We're gonna get out of this. After playing Resident Evil 2, though, this part is not scary at all. I've also played this game so many times. Oh no! I am mostly excited to get like to play with the outfits in this like replay. I've never messed with that at all. There's too many of them. This way. Am I, the my first. Hey, dude, Tommy, hurry the hell up. <laughs> Go. See, in, in in a show, Tommy and Joel were split up right when. Uh, Tommy and Joel were split up right at the car crash, and then Joel was on his own this whole time, running with Sarah. But it was a pretty short run. And then they ran through like a bar that was being chased by by an infected. Rather than splitting up right here. I think the show might have done it better. Go! You got Sarah! I cannot run him! I will meet you there! Hurry! But the one difference is in the show, like the scene with Sarah and the soldier was like right here. They didn't run through all of this. But I understand in TV they gotta make it keep the attention span longer. In video games it's easier because you put the player on the sticks and they're playing. In the show they gotta keep the they gotta shorten it down a little bit. I feel like anyways. I think it's do we yep, yeah, right here. I will say, I've seen the behind the scenes on this so many times. Troy. Troy Baker. I don't know the actor for hey, Sarah in the video games, anymore, Stop. but they filmed the scene so many times legs. and right there. they perfected it. Okay. Troy's performance. I'm not sick. Got a couple. Of Troy killed it. Out of perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety. The scene. Right it was okay. so sad in the game because you knew, or in the show, you knew what was girl. coming. But. Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... I think Troy Baker's performance of this was better than Pedro Pascal's, but Pedro did a fabulous job. He killed this in the show. Oh no. But I do think Troy's performance in the video game was better. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. Listen to me, I know this hurts me. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I wonder if Pedro, like, they showed him this scene, or he played this scene before doing on, baby, the, the scene in the show, on, or if he just blindly did it. I would imagine he, they'd have to see the, this. Sarah. Baby. So sad. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. Every time, <laughs> Troy, please, Troy please. Baker absolutely killed this scene, and he had to. Like, if he didn't, would this game have been as successful? The Last of Us Part One. Whew.
the show did something very similar to this. The number of confirmed um, deaths has passed 200. Neil Druckmann, the governor has you're a genius. A state of for and but the, but the, the, the HBO show did something very similar to this. It was in color, had the same exact music, which who's the vision of my uh, trying to think of So kind of with the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles I can't is remember now the off the top of my head. I know it. But they did something very similar to this in color, and it was beautiful. But they did this before and you ever met George Sam. And, and it just really hyping up the same music. The calling themselves the I need to think of the guy's name. For both attacks. Their public charter calls Santa for the Alaya, return of all um, branches of government. Something Santa Elia. I can't remember off the top of my head. John, Gustavo Santelaya there it was, starring Ashley Johnson, Troy Baker, and I'm happy that they're actually going to be actors in the TV show. Troy, I believe, is James, friends with David the Cannibal, and I believe, I'm curious how it's going to come up, but Ashley Johnson will play Anna, Ellie's mom, in the TV show, so that's really, really cool. I'm excited to see this. My biggest kind of, there's two big things I didn't like going into the TV show that I heard. One is that in the game, the outbreak takes place in 2013, and the actual game is 2033, 20 I'm years coming. later. In the TV show, the outbreak is 2003, and it takes place during 2023. They did that, so How was your morning? the TV show is happening in 2023, so like the audience can connect better. It makes sense. My other biggest complaint is there's no spores no, in the TV show, which we'll no. talk more about later. But this is not how Tess... And Joel first well, appear interesting news for you. in Where the were TV you, show, Chris? completely different. West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? The Boston scene went pretty quick, and it showed more Ellie than the game does. The, uh, whole deal went south, and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? The deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? And the TV show, it showed a boy walking into the quarantine zone, and it showed he was infected, which is kind of, I think, showed the dangers of this. Um, and then it showed Joel picking up the body and throwing it into fire. And it just really showed he was a smuggler. It showed him giving pills to a soldier, getting ration cards. And Tess was actually kidnapped by Roberts and ends up going to jail. Big difference. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Son of a bitch, he's smart. No. He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. See, this is completely Lucky different than the TV know. show. Old warehouse in Area 5. The biggest difference for me, Except which I'm curious home. how it's gonna come back, is well, Joel was so worried about getting a battery in the TV show. In this, they're more worried about guns. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second. In the TV show, Joel was so worried about getting a battery to get to Tommy. So drive to Colorado to get to Tommy. And he had a radio in his house. He was in open talks with Tommy. And he wants a battery. And this, we're looking for guns. And he never mentions Tommy. I think he does when he meets Marlene and they're talking about the fireflies. But I'm curious how that's going to come back in the show. Because in the game, Joel later talks about how the last thing Tommy told him was, I don't want to ever see your fucking face again. I think that's how he words it. Um, but in the TV show, they've been talking this whole time, so I'm curious about how that's going to work. Um, but in the game, we have to go get our guns. In the TV show, Joel is looking for a battery, and then eventually, the way you run, the way Joel runs into Roberts is completely different than how it is in here. But let's play, and we'll kind of talk more about it as we go. But before we do anything else, I'm going to switch on some outfits, which is something I've been waiting for a lot. If you want to see more of like an authentic playthrough of the video game, I will link my playlist from November in the in the up. channel description well, or in the hours left video Christmas. description. Well, we better hurry um, up. And in that series, I kind of pretended like I didn't know what was happening, pretended like it was my first time. In reality, I've played this game since 2014. I got the Platinum Trophy for Part 2 within a month of it coming out. I think I beat it like six days after Part 2 came out. So if you want to see more of like an authentic playthrough, though, I'll link that in the description. This playthrough is completely comparing it to HBO and just I'm sure we'll do other things too but um extras I think you can do it from this screen skins so Joel there's nine skins we'll have to change one about every chapter but for Ellie 
there's going to be, I think there's 24 skins when I counted earlier. So we're gonna have to switch it like two or three times a video for Ellie. Joel, we should be able to do one a video. So we're just gonna go in order. I wanna end with the winter gear, which is how we looked in part two. But for now, let's just go in order. Now how do you select it? Okay. And then there's only two backpacks, so about halfway through, probably when we get to Tommy, I'll switch to the other backpack. And then weapon skins, I'll switch every couple of videos. I don't know when we'll, I assume when we get our backpack in like the sewer area, Joel will have all of his guns, but I don't know if that's 100% accurate. But we have everything changed on here. I'm going to go ahead and change Ellie's, um, even though we won't see her for a little bit, but we'll just go in order. This is Angel Knives, which is a character from the video game she plays with Riley. Um, the backpack, we're going to go with this one for the entire playthrough, and then for Left Behind, I'll go with the Daxter one. Um, we'll do that in Left Behind also, and then these guns, she really doesn't get guns till later, so I'm not going to mess with that yet. But Joel's outfit should restart now to see the skin selection takes effect immediately. Selecting no means changes will not affect the next death or level. We'll do it right now. Hey, I like it. Honestly, it's just a nice little switch up. Outside work duty. Well, yeah, in, in the show, Tess and Joel did not meet up for a while. And in the show, they showed what happens if you, they find someone infected, they kill this little boy. In the video game, the closest you really get is a scene that happens over here. Look at that. Ration line has but they did a good job at recreating Boston. I think they filmed most of the, the HBO show in Canada, if I'm correct. And this kind of is a really cool scene right here. It kind of shows the video game version of what happens if they find you infected. Hands in your fucking head. And then I think that last guy's infected. There was like a hanging in the, the HBO show as well, I believe. But I think that was for if they found fireflies. This is like equivalent to the Skyrim scene where um, that... Oh, it's this girl. They needled her. I thought they'd shoot her. Kind of like in Skyrim where that one guy's like, No, I'm not a thief! And then runs away. Oh, yep, this is it. Perfect. And I'm going to attempt to get all the collectibles out, but I, rem I remember most of them, but I'll probably forget a couple. That just means more people are sneaking out. What's up, Joel? Hey. You know they took Marianne? What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, you better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want yeah. the person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, let's go. Let's go find Roberts. And yeah, none of this ever happens in the show. I want to know what you guys think, though. Like, I really do care, and I want. I'll read all. I mean, I've, I reply to every single comment. My channel's small enough right now where I can. You see who I need. There you go. Joel Miller. What's your business here? Got the day I think Tess's real name is Teresa. I've seen that somewhere. I don't know if that's 100 percent accurate though. And Ellie's last name is Williams. Get out of here, Joel! Learn the quick turn, which I never use. Now we can run into this little building. What makes everyone run into the building and... Oh no. I think the secret way to get to Roberts is in Joel and Tessa's house in the show, if I remember right. Patch yourself up, alright? So it still shows I know how to make the pipe bomb. Which you usually don't learn that until you meet Bill. All the checkpoints. I probably would have went done that under my shirt, but you know, whatever works. Outside of the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. Cute. Hey, Tess. But in the show, when you run into Roberts, he's already dead and he's in the Firefly hideout and Marlena's there. 
No patrols. So and you meet Ellie a little bit different. I'll explain that when we get to her, though. You too. Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene. In the game, he what sold Marlene the battery we Robert? need, and in the video game, she <laughs> sold the guns well, we what need. what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's. Does this guy have a pet rat? Oh, pet pigeons. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah. See you How around. do they not know about all this? Like these secret passage. It, they did have like a little mm -hmm. secret tunnel to get back down into a subway, but I'm pretty like sure it was from Tessa's house. Find them before the fireflies do. I love that we still have our whole store on us. This is us. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going Just good, as good as it can there. go. How are we looking over here? Yeah, it's been quiet. No signs of military or infected. That's what I like to hear. Can you see out here very good? Not really. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okay. We're gonna knock over those bottles on the top. One thing I'm wondering about, like in the in at least especially in The Last of Us Part Two, is you see like PS3s these, yeah, everywhere and the technology that was in two thousand three everywhere, because that's when the outbreak happened. But in the TV show the outbreak happened in two thousand three, so the technology and stuff would have to be older. Oh, God, we'll go get our backpack. Need to watch what they throw away down here. Let's grab our and we gear. hopefully will have all of our guns in our new backpack. Our backpacks are still here from last time. Is there anything over here? I don't think there is. No. Hey, that's a different backpack. <laughs> oh, and our gun has a cool skin on it. I wonder if we'll have all of our weapons right here. A lot of ammo. I should have the ammo I had when I ended last playthrough, which I think I used most of it in the hospital. I honestly don't even remember. All right, Texas. Boost me up. All right, Texas. She never called him that in the show. I was waiting. We do. Pistol. Can we reload it? How do you reload? Yeah, like that. I'm used to playing Resident Evil. We have our revolver. We should have our El Diablo. Boost me up. Shorty. We have everything. Even the assault rifle. I will boost her, but really quick, I just want to look what the shotgun looks like. Do our rifle for now. Yeah, we'll change these weapon skins every couple episodes since there's four of each. And then on terms of perks, do we have access to those yet? We have everything craftable. Um, I'll just do a health kit for now. In terms of perks, this is where we left off. We had both max health, both weapon sway. I feel like next I would want to do either Shiv Master or Listen Mode. And then once I max both of those out, we'll do this. I'll go ahead and save for Shiv Master. Well, actually, we only need five more for Listen Mode, so we'll do Listen Mode. Then we'll save for Shiv Master. But we do have two new notes. This just kind of shows the phages, phases, runners, stalkers, clickers, and then there's the bloater. Um, there's no shamblers in this game. Boston QZ map, nothing too crazy. Uh, Donovan, Robert, Tunnel, Tunnel, Caved In. So yeah. There you go. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the outfits are just a nice little change of pace, especially Come for on. someone that's probably played this game six or seven times. This is only my second time on the PS5, the first I recorded. Um... I recorded that first video of The Last of Us, my first ever YouTube video. I recorded that video like probably six or seven times. And I got all the way up to Bill once, and then I was like, nope, these videos are not good enough quality, and I scrapped them all and restarted. <laughs> like, I I spent a month trying to get my first, like, three videos up. And now I'm doing, like, Be careful. five a week, six a week soon. Had a trick question. We'll loot. I think there's an optional combo out here, though. And we'll loot up. Ain't been out here in a while. No, we haven't. Like we're on a date. Well, in the show, Ellie asked guy. Joel when was the last time he left the city, and he said about a year ago. Or something along those lines. I was very skeptical about the casting. I think a lot of people were. After watching it, I think Pedro and Bella, fabulous job. I seen something online that Jensen Ackles wanted to play Joel. Like he talked about it um, from Supernatural. I'm not super into Supernatural, but my girlfriend absolutely loves the show. 
Um, I think Jensen would have done a good job. But even years before the show was announced, I always thought that Joel should be played by Hugh Jackman. I think he would have killed it. Um, but I think Pedro, now that the show's a reality, I think Pedro did a really good job. One thing I want to talk about really quick, I think it's in the extras. I haven't messed with any of these yet, but there's a lot of fun stuff we could mess with potentially, like infinite ammo, infinite crafting, melee damage, one shot, everything's one shot. There's a lot of the stuff I want to mess with, but I don't know if it's right for this series. Maybe, maybe like when the game comes out on PC in March, maybe like midsummer, I could replay it on PC with all of these. But I think you have to beat the game in order to get these, so I'm not really sure. Maybe eventually we'll mess around with all of those. Like infinite crafting, infinite melee damage, range. But right now we're going to hold off. Where's the ladder? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Got it. Great, got it. it over. It's like I knew where it was at. In the first playthrough I had to pretend like I didn't know anything. Same with part two. Ladies first. <laughs> My part one did not do super well. I didn't get else. any comments on the whole entire series. Um, no relative. Part two, especially up, like starting episode three and going on, like I got my first comments. I was getting likes and I had a couple of views that had over 100, which for me is a shit ton of views. I was really happy. I think our next um, collectibles in here, the Firefly Pendant. Yes. David Michael, Mr. David, we caught you red-handed. Keep the fuck out of Worcester. Clean this shit up. I'm gonna all of their names. It's cool. Down through here. One thing I love about this game, and I never really, I guess I took for granted for a long time, was the ability to use the flashlight whenever you, you want. In Resident Evil, it's so Very annoying. Sick. He better. Because you have to wait on the, to the game. Back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Oh, we're meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo. Good. Supposedly. Emily always shows up with something. Should keep us busy for a while. But in the in Resident Evil, you just kind of have to wait on the game to decide when you need the flashlight, which is so annoying. Um, but in the show, they never say anything about guns. Well, Joel smuggles spores. cigarettes and um, pills, and he's looking for a battery. And spores are not in the game. I'm guessing it's because... They didn't want to have to have the characters wear a mask and not see their face on the on the film. But it's also it's part of The Last of Us. Like that's one thing I'm really not on board for is you gotta have spores. Apparently there's gonna be a new yeah, way the, to to infect them. people. The place was clear last time. But we haven't seen that in the show yet. Stay alert. Well, there's some tide. There's our culprit. Nice. Tide is not that old. All right, some rats. Keep your eyes and ears open. <laughs> I, should be able to fit I love the blue shirt on Joel. I just want to put them all on right now. Shit. But we're going to pace you it okay? out. Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. Damn ceiling falling apart. Easy. Ah! Watch it, watch it. As much as I don't want to waste the bullet, it's the right thing to do. But... Just because I've never got to do this before. Because even on do? The Last of Us Remastered, if you restarted, you never got all your guns from the beginning. Haha, -ha, assault rifle, bro. I keep hitting the reload button for Resident Evil. We can craft some stuff. I guess I'll craft smoke bomb, which I don't use a lot, but. Which way am I supposed to go? I guess it doesn't matter. We got our first kill up here in a minute. Well, not our first kill, like our first group of infected, which Joel and Tess really didn't have to fight much infected. But I assume next episode we'll have the clickers and the test scene. I'm going to try to stealth this up as much as possible. I wish all the weapons could have a skin, though. Like, come on. Or, like, there's just skin packs, like... You change the, like, there's Skinback 1 and it changed all your weapons one way, Skinback 2. Which, but I do appreciate that Naughty Dog and Sony did not charge any real-life money for these cosmetics. It's all in-game stuff, which I hope they carry over to The Last of Us Factions, the multiplayer. I hope they don't make any microtransactions, but since it's multiplayer, I'm sure they will. 
But I also thought they would in this game. When they announced the outfits. I thought they would have microtransactions, and they don't. I think there might be like one PlayStation background that costs money. I don't have that purchase though. Jesus. I'm gonna try to go around the back. We're in a clock shop. Madrid. Oh no, it just shows the times wherever they are. I do like that infected don't react to flashlights, which is kind of weird. But eat him. Need a friend. What? How? Sweet. Didn't go as planned, but we don't find much gear early morning or early gameplay. But I do know there's a note in one of these rooms. Any snacks? No. I I hope the game. Oh, there's a candy bar. I hope the the show kind of shows like the um. Obviously, they aren't going to show like looting a lot, but um. Like scavenging, like at least like a little bit, like when they go in a room, like Joel starts looking for stuff or whatever, because that's a big part of the game. I keep doing that. I need to stop it. Must be upstairs. I know there's a note in here somewhere. The brother note. Let's go on in. There it is. Hey brother, we're so close. I'm sitting outside the walls. No way I'll never see the inside of um, inside of the zone while waiting for the smuggler to show up. Is that us? It might be Tess actually um, to show up. We heard a squad of soldiers approaching. In our panic, we ducked into this building, hopes from hiding from them. Um, none of us noticed the spores until it was too late. We're all infected. We have a few hours, maybe a day at most. I hope the smuggler's still coming, so at least I can pass this note on to you. I should um, I should have listened to you and come to the zone with you when I when I had the chance. Now it's too late. Take care, Mark. They got infected trying to sneak into the zone. I might have been that lady that got as shot. As everyone complains about it. You got all these poor bastards wishing they were living on the inside. Shut down. Fresh air, take that mask off. They could definitely do masks in the show, even if it was like five minutes an episode or something. Which I know the first episode was, I think, 80 minutes. I know all the future ones are only 30 minutes, which is kind of disappointing, but... <sighs> It is what it is. And I wish it was like Netflix where they dropped the whole series That's at once. But. I hate the smell of the city. There ain't nothing out here though. I never noticed you can go this way. I guess just the other way. I guess I've never done that before. Through here. Come Through here. Come. I'm going. I got it. Maybe I should have played on a harder difficulty. With all of my guns, I was just thinking about it. I'll be able to use all these guns versus Roberts and like that ship area, the dock, I guess it is. Damn it. Let me go down and get the board. Yeah, I know what to do, Tess. Don't even worry. Here, pass it to me. I'm trying. I think there might, which I don't know if I want to do. I think there's something in here about like puzzles are automatically done maybe not maybe i'm just thinking filter gallery these are just like different things you can play on kind of trippy imagine playing the whole game on that some of these might be cool like i said we might make a video in the future talking about them options it might be an accessibility navigation and traversal Navigation assist, we don't need that. Um, press X to automatically perform certain difficult jumps. Ledge guards, no. Enhanced listener, I don't want to do any of these cheats on infinite breath. Skip puzzle option. When a puzzle, when in a puzzle, um, select skip puzzle from the pause menu. We're not going to do it right now, but it would be nice. It's a bit heavy. To just be able to I think I can handle it. ignore every puzzle. All right. I mean, that, that that's, has to purely be made for people replaying the game. Okay, we're gonna not do that right now. It, uh, the puzzles aren't honestly hard. Like, there's been several in Resident Evil I had to look up, but in this game, they're just, I think they're more just cool. Ooh. I don't even know if we can, is that health? 
Now it's ammo for something. Shorty. That's our El Diablo. Shorty. I'm excited to get every weapon upgraded. I think we'll have it by the time we get to Tommy. Make sure there ain't any soldiers around. And I do remember this tree right here. If you don't know if there's soldiers, I don't know why you'd be shooting. There's a pendant somewhere here, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I know there's a pendant in one of these trees. Am I on crack? Where is it? I know it's in this tree, actually, because I remember... Because in the first playthrough, I was looking them up as I was going. That's why there were so many cuts. Just so I wouldn't miss any, and I still missed a couple. So I could not find it, so I looked it up, and I'm just an idiot. It's not that tree. It's this next tree right here. I knew there was one, though. Yeah, it's right there. I don't know why I keep doing it. It's because that's the reload button in Resident Evil. Who is this one for? Um, I don't even know what to guess. Ben. Such a basic name. I should have known. Mr. Ben. Let's go in here and talk to this little boy. Shut it. Shut it. Pick up that ammo. Sure we'll need it. Oh, I'm sure I will too. Even though I have all these weapons now. Oh, I can't reload it in here though. Is that the boy? That's the no, maybe not. Can I pull some money out? Thank you, I'll take five thou. Oh, we're in like a shipping. Make sure the coast is clear. No soldiers, none of Robert's men, yeah? Yeah. It's sad that kids that young are helping smugglers. Well, that'll make it more interesting. Oh, I like that you can see the, the white pistol sticking in Joel's back pocket. That's a cool little feature. Good to go. We're clear. Come on. I'm not even going to run back there. There ain't nothing back there. Back off, dude. That's my girl. Screw you, Terrence. The doggies. Okay. This is where they're frying up those rats. This is so disgusting. Every time it gets me. I would never. But I guess if you're hungry enough, you'll do whatever you do whatever you have to do. Have a doggy? These dogs are all accounted for. Sold out in less than an hour. Try me next week. Just don't sell them to any WLF because those puns are annoying. Back off, bud. You touch it, you buy it. What do you think I want? A lantern? That would be nice. What's this guy's name? Like Zach or something, I think, right? Where do you think you're going? Malik. Oh, Malik. Malik. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. There's a couple of notes out here I remember. An old headache. An old headache. You have any golf clubs I can hit people with? <laughs> if you know, you know. Is that Mjolnir? Oh, it's just a regular hammer. I think there's a note down here and there's a warning poster. Fuck this. Notice of um, service system. The general of the Boston, quarant Boston quarantine zone. As an able-bodied civilian, you are hereby issued work orders and to participate in various duties related to the care of the quarantine zone. They had something similar to that in the in the um, the show, except Joel was like signing up for work. Do those people not see all these people gathered? Can I grab this? There we go. Marlene. Okay, I'm not reading all of it, but. Okay, we'll do a little draft. I'm wondering if the draft scene is going to be in this game. That's what I was talking to my girlfriend about. It's like, they have to, right? Give them some ration cards. Did you come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the war. This little ponytail self. Enough. One thing I did like in the show is that Joel had like guards, like he was smuggling for like 
um, pills for guards. And, I think, and the guard gave him rations and cigarettes, I believe. And then Joel used the cigarettes to try to get a battery. Let's get into battle, though. Here we go. You think I'm scared of you guys? I have a shotgun. Y'all have never the, faced Joel with a shotgun need before. To turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Oh, Our whoa. beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. Or what? I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. I wouldn't nice. recommend that. Bah! Take bah! cover. Okay. You ready? I'm still gonna try to conserve ammo on my big guns. I'll cover you. Get the angle. Especially on early game, I think they're only really gonna give us pistol ammo. You don't know where I'm at. Keep him busy. I might keep my shorty out. Do they know? I meant to grab my shorty. Good shot. Yeah. If I would have had my shorty out when that guy ran up on me, it would have been a lot better. Thank you. How the hell did he get all these guys? If Robert's good at one thing, it's right in the chicks. Right in blank chicks. Believe in the fireflies. That's locked. Let me lift you up. It's not going through here. Authorized personnel only. With our fancy ass new backpack. I wonder if they'll ever do like a remake of part two with like new outfits and stuff. I have Ellie and Joel's back or Ellie and Abby's backpack or backpacks from part two. Like the physical backpacks I bought from one came in my collector's edition and Abby I just bought off the website. Let me show you guys Ellie really quick. I don't know why I felt the need to do this, but Ellie's, it has the two pins on it. This is what she gets in the um the museum. And then I have Abby's from part two. Kinda cool. I don't know. I think it's cool at least, but clearly I am a nerd. Continue on. But I, I've never seen Joel's backpack, like, up for sale. There's probably some on Etsy or something. Zidia, we're already almost to the hour point. Over here, Joel. I already know what to do here. We gotta get the key. Oh, I have my bow. I just I completely guys. forgot I have a bow. I see him. How do you know they're coming? Two of oh. my guys died trying to take Tess out. They know. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right <laughs> now to get Robert. Jesus. See, in the playthrough, Tess tried to, like, bribe Robert. She's like, oh, Joel won't come and get you if you let me go. So it's Ellie that has the bow skin, I think. One thing I like in part two is that you had the, um, the rangefinder for, for Ellie. I know there's two in there, I believe. There's one in here. I think with the rifle you can kill two with one bullet, so maybe I'm willing to try that. We'd have to get them lined up though. Let me guess. Fire five. Yep. We lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. We just executed all of them. Are you coming? Oh yeah, he found something. Hey man, you hear me? Do you not see him on the ground, you dipstick? We can get one of her arrows back or two. You drop the key. I think you gotta go through here, right? But there's more. I think, right? Maybe not till after we go through, yeah. Maybe we can get our arrow back from this dude. No. That's okay though. Joel can't make arrows either, which is slightly annoying, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Are we in another post office? Or in like an AC kind of building like sells AC units? We got the key. And there's more. Hey, we consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. 
Supplies are locked. Yeah, we already have a brick, right? Yeah. Do another once over and then head out. I just wish we had a silent, like a silent gun. Who's he holding up with tonight? Guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. I'm kind of just want to go guns blazing just to have fun with it. Wait till this guy comes in here. Just have some fun with it. That's the way to do it. Damn right it is. We'll go over here. There might be some loot, but honestly, early game. There's not even any crafting recipes, you know, besides the health kit, so the game doesn't give you a lot early. They know I'm here. Usually I try to do this stealthy, but I'm gonna go upstairs. Not here. I'm gone. I only have one rifle bullet though, like come on. I'm gonna El Diablo it up a little bit though. Hell yeah. There's more, I just don't know where at. How did his blood get that high up on the wall? There's one over here. Yeah, I'll use my shotgun. Come around this corner, dude. Oh, you're not going to? Hey, you over there? I'm just worried they'll try to sneak up behind us. To your right. That's not. Uh, I guess that was my right. Just headshot it up. Headshots only. Is that all of them? More people. Nah, slow, slow us down. down. Yep. Yeah. I do love the way the shivs look in this game, though. I think they look so cool. Come on, the docks are this way. Let's do this. Let me loot really quick. Health kit. Can't complain there. Not that I need it, but. Killed several over here. I'll go and check the outside area for loot. You see, we're only getting pistol ammo in this early part. Maybe I should have selected classic for the, um. For the, um. New game plus style. Because then we would have only had the pistol right now. But it's too late. I'm not replaying all this. I don't think there's anything back here, but I... Actually, oh, some assault rifle ammo. Okay. One thing I did not appreciate in the in the TV show was very early on, or not very early on, further than we are right now, but when you find out that Ellie's infected. Spoiler alert, I said in the beginning. Um... And when they kill those guards, Joel just takes the guy's assault rifle. It's like, I had to wait till the very end of the game to get assault rifle. We're going to take the guards from Boston. On the outskirts, I guess. This part, we're just going to have at it. We're going to get through it quick. There's our boy. That's Mr. Roberts. Looks a lot different in the, in the game. Oh. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. Let's. It would have been better to stay up there and shoot at him, but. Let's be smart about this. There's a lot of them. I'm being smart. That should have been a headshot, I'm just saying. Should have been a headshot. I'm so used to the reload. Where's he at? Let's go and get him. You gonna be right there? You gonna try to scare me? No. He's over there. Was I over here? Health gets full. Where the fuck did you go? I might be everyone. Right. That's one way to do it. I'm gonna use a health kit just so we can loot this one. Might as well get full health. I do know there's two notes out here too we have to pick up. We'll take this 2 by 4 not that it's anything crazy. And a note. This should kind of explain some of Robert's story. Damn soldiers spotted one of our ships. I thought we were done for. But, the Robert, um, but that Robert guy knew one of them and he managed to bribe 
them in return for letting us go. I guess he's good for something. The son of a bitch can talk. It did cost a third of the cargo, and I can't um, shake the feeling that we're being... Um, where am I at? That we've been had. How the hell did they find us in the fog? Robert Snow's people. Wheeling and dealing with everyone in town. And there's a note over here. I am going to run back where I was and loot. We already have that. I don't remember what this note's about. What the hell are we doing with this guy? I don't like how he orders us around. I don't I don't like his stupid ponytail and I sure as sh and I sure as shit don't like that. He hasn't paid us yet. Not to mention that the people after him are some of the most dangerous in the city. Damn right. Cool. I didn't finish it, but I don't really care. Look for some loot. I don't know if there even is that much, but I'm gonna look around. Gonna look around. Well, I'm not going to thoroughly look, though. Like, in the first game, I made sure I got every piece of loot. In this game, I'm just trying to have a good time, really. I want you guys to be able to... Ooh. Oh, I can't take that. Come on. Is that another health kit? Yeah, we can't. There's no chance we can take that. I wonder where he's going to be at. We just want to talk, Robert. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Oh, you're out of ammo. What a bummer. Go fuck yourself. He looks like Laszlo from GTA. Robert. Joel, this way. So, Come on, he in the him. TV show, there's never you never hunt for Robert. Well, you, you go out and look for him, but you never chase him down or anything. You just you go where you think he'll be at, and you find him dead by the fireflies because he sold them a no good battery. Oh, how'd that work out for you, buddy? Well, Not good. <laughs> Tess, Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. You sold us. All right. Or you sold someone else our guns. <laughs> or in the TV show, we you, you sold someone else our battery. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Where's the battery? Yeah, sure, but it's complicated. All right. hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got a baby. <laughs> Fuck. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Quit your squirming. Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. How's that going to work out for me. you, bud? I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I say you bet on the wrong horse. Yeah, sure did, bud. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you Break hadn't it, tried and kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. I can't. You just give me a couple. Of <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Who has our guns? It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. What? Well, I guess we're going to have to go fight a firefly, right? They're basically all dead. We, we can just, just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Let's go get them. You don't got to look that far. That is a stupid idea. <laughs> Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. <laughs> look, let's, let's go find a firefly. Yeah. We won't have to look very far. Queen firefly. Oh. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? How'd that work out for him? <laughs> I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. No, they weren't. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. So do we. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. See, 
in the TV show, the second the there's that in, the second Joel and cards. Tess run into um, Marlene. And Ellie's already there. Out of the city. You do that, and she is a smart ass, just like she is in the video game, and I love back. it. Then so. How do I know you got him? Well, your military's been wiping you guys out. Yes. Right about that. I like how in the TV show it also showed Same more minutes. about the Fireflies. Like you seen more, like What's it, it showed be? more of their in their camp with a lot of fireflies. Follow me. Um, but this never I happened because in the TV now. show, Ellie was already there. You didn't. We didn't have to go to Ellie. She was already there in the TV show. In one thing, oh, I'll explain that later. I right, gotta look for loot. You guys know me. I think this is where you first find parts. Yes. We won't get to use those today, but. Up here. Gotta get through some. Some Fedra soldiers. I know a way around this. Good. Come on. Where we go? Up here? Yeah. I thought we did. Nice. Yeah, they never had this, like, little run from the Fedra scene. And Ellie was more of a prisoner to Fedra, not friends with, or to the Fireflies. Like, in this, she seems more, like, kind of friendly Holy with shit. the Fireflies. Is that your people? What's left of them? Why do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. I already know what way. They've been quiet. Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile up. A smoke bomb? Oh no, it's explosive. Ain't much in here. We can craft something. I'm not gonna craft a weapon upgrade just because it's a two by four. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okay. Then when Joel first meets Ellie, it's similar, but just in the show it would like happens already. You don't have to go to her. Hey, are you holding up? I'll live. I hope so. As long as we get our guns though, that's all I care about. And we don't have any collectibles for a long time. There's a conversation up top though. I'm just gonna blow through Hold these on. guys again. Soldiers. Like we're already an That's hour, an Don't hour in. Probably have another thirty minutes. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. Nope. <laughs> not New Game Plus, that's for sure. We need to get to that door. They won't see us if I go running, surely. And then up here, I'm just—I know they're Fedra, but I might even eh, probably still just use my. My pistol. You picked the wrong day to screw with us. Go fuck yourselves. Oh, they're right there. I do want to try to shoot through two guards. I know it's possible, or at least it is in part two. Nope. I had to try though. Shit. They probably think we're fireflies too, right? I missed that shit. Are you kidding me? Thanks, Not that time. There's more coming. Joel. Might just surprise them. Oh, she threw me pistol ammo. You weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Is that all of them? I'll quickly loot this place, but I'm not trying to spend a bunch of time doing it. I was really hoping I'd shoot through two at once, but unfortunately I just didn't. I knew you could in part two, but 
The same part too. Is that all of them? I don't know. Check this guy and then we'll call that good for looting. Yeah, that's all of them. There's a com optional conversation over here. God damn it, they got Warren. Because all the fireflies have the little yeah. armband with the firefly logo on them. Goodbye, friend. We should go, Marlene. There's bound to be more soldiers on the way. Yep. You're right. Let's move on. Let's move. Not much further now. That's cool. This would be a cool map for the last of us multiplayer, but I know they're doing it in San Francisco. Or at least I think, because the Golden Gate Bridge was in the screenshot. Go on. You don't have to act all hurried. We killed them all. Where are we going, Merlene? This way. It's not far now. No, it's not. Let's go find Ellie. There's a podcast. I okay. listen to it on, on Spotify, I think, oh, but I'm sure it's on every streaming platform. It's hosted by Troy Baker, the actor for Joel. In the first episode, Craig, Craig Mazin, I think that's how you say it, the director of the Place HBO right show, and Neil Druckmann were the guests of the podcast. And it's like on the HBO Spotify. And if a podcast talking about the show, I highly recommend you listen to that. I don't think there's a video for it. Because I remember looking on YouTube and I didn't see one. So it's just audio, but yeah, I, I thought it was a really good podcast, honestly. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. You ever smuggled a girl before? We're on a bakery, I think. I think we'd get a little, yeah, a little bit more than arrested and prosecuted. We meet Ellie through this door. A lot different, but she's still just as sassy in the show. Bella Ramsey killed it. Whoa. Come on now. Get on up. Fuck away from hey. me. Let her go. You're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? And she has her angel knife shirt on. That's cool. I don't think she has this shirt on yet, but... Don't worry, this is fixable. Had to wear this for the first video. Probably wear it for all of the Last of Us videos. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. Yep. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. In the game, they really... Double or in the, in the show, Speaking they're really which, building it up they? to see. Like, in the, in the show, they built it up like, I mean, she's so important, you have to do this. We're not smuggling shit until I see them. And that's one thing. You can verify the weapons. In the in the show, the deal was you stuff. smuggle Ellie, we give you a whole working car with a battery and too. gas. And, but in in the I game, Ellie her. had to go oh, and shit, the best Ellie. or in the game, test goes to verify the guns. In the show, them. no one verified the I car. Was close with his brother Tommy. They just immediately leave. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. Yeah. He was a good man. Look, just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo. Joel. And she's gonna go verify the. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. Now go with him. Don't take long. Don't. And take you long. Stay close. Okay. Let's go. I'm not going to change any outfits this episode, but next episode we're going to have to at least do one new outfit for Joel and I think two for Ellie. I would assume the episode two of the HBO show will end at the test scene. Whoa. I think there's a pendant on this guy. Shooting, Nicholas or Nick. Fireflies. Same thing's going to happen to us if we don't get off. I have two street. uncles named, well, an, oh, an uncle and a cousin named Philip. Yeah, this never happened. I mean, see that guy up there? I don't know if I ever noticed that. Um, is he not going to duck in for that? But in the TV show, we got Ellie, and they and they immediately left for the um, down here to the Capitol building. 
This we got. I mean, not long. Two or three minutes, really. Nothing crazy. We'll keep up. I don't think you actually have to duck there. What happens if I don't? Nothing. Gotta get the trash can, get up there. Up there, that'll get us to the north tunnel. And I feel like when. Just give me a minute. Actually, no. Ellie and Joel in the show did leave somewhere, like by themselves. And Tess, I think Tess went to go take Marlene to safety in the TV show, and and Joel did have to bring Ellie alone. But he brought him back to their house, and she like cracked the radio code, which is funny. That should be good enough. Are you kidding me? Of course it's not. Why would that be good enough? Maybe that puzzle thing would be nice. Do you need help? I don't think she needs help. She wouldn't want Joel's help right now anyways. Because she's wearing a Jack and Daxter shirt. This tunnel, you use it to smuggle things? Yep. yep. Like illegal things? Sometimes. Usually, probably. A kid before? <laughs> no. no, that's, that's a first. first. Can't run What's though. Deal with you and Marlene, anyways. I don't know. She's my friend, I guess. Your friend? Huh? You're friends with the leader of the Fireflies. What are you? Like? See, in the what? show, she was almost like held hostage by she the Fireflies. And, and she's been looking after. And Ellie's gonna 14, be Ashley Johnson, the actor for Ellie in the TV things. show. Where are your parents? Is going to play anyway, Ellie's mom and them. They've been gone a long, long time. Ashley Johnson, Ellie in the well, game will be playing school, Ellie's mom, Anna. Firefly, is that it? Look, in I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me if that's what you're getting at. The show is what I'm trying to say. My job. I don't give a rat's ass. I know why. Oh, I thought he said rat's ass. You, I give two, two shits. shits what you're up to. It was something. Okay. Good. Is and we wait. And this is where she would have been cracking the code, but there's no code to crack. What are you doing? Killing time. What am I supposed to do? Well, what am I supposed to do? I suppose you'll I'm figure sure that out. You'll figure that yeah. out. If you watched this far, thank you guys, and I just really appreciate you. I'm hoping these last of us videos will do pretty well. I know there's only one a week. Your watch is broken. But yeah, thank you guys. And I love that the show is composed by Gustavo Santiolai. I can't believe I forgot his name in the beginning. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. I would say we have about 15 more minutes in this episode. We're gonna... The end of the yeah. chapter, of the, the Boston chapter, is technically right here. It's the outside. Because when you pick up, it's the outskirts chapter. But we're gonna go at least how we... Days. It reveals the thing about Ellie. And then that's where the show ended. Can't be any worse up there. Can it? You'd be surprised. Oh, no, with you. Hey, sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Marlene? She's gonna live. Make it. I saw the we'll see her in Salt Lake City. And do this. Yeah. Go. Let's go. I think there's an optional conversation and a note in here. This just kind of shows what we've been smuggling. One eight. Eight bottles of pills. Bill never sorts these bottles. Gonna be up all night dividing them. Twelve cans of ham, beans, bandages. I'm not gonna read all of this, but it's just the stuff they've smuggled. Stuff that I guess would be, you know, wanted items back in Boston they can make money on. A good bottle of scotch. 12D batteries. In the show, it said there was a factory in Atlanta that's only making pills and bullets. And there's an optional combo out here. We're so close. They're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice, or the second for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. yeah let's just hope there's someone. Well, let's get her to the Capitol building. Someone will be around. 
I don't really remember how it showed Ellie and Joel getting out of this, and Tess, of course, getting out of the city. I feel like it just kind of flashed and they were out of the city escaping. And if they do a part two, I wonder how they're going to do the Joel Abbey scene. Or who's even going to play Abbey? Because I know the face of Abbey is a character, or not a character, a, a real Twitch streamer, off. former Naughty Dog she game developer named Jocelyn. But her city. body's built after a female bodybuilder, and she's important. acted and voiced what is the deal by is Laura Bailey. Some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How long is this all going to take? Should be done by sunrise. Shows a map of the outside. Yeah, of course. Something's wrong with my sound. It all. I'm only getting sound in the left ear. Okay, it's right ear now, and it's not super loud. I don't know. Should be fine for you guys though. Coast is clear, uh, not coast clear. Alright. We're gonna figure this We're out, good. escape them, and then after that we will be ending this Come episode. On, Watch your step. So if you want more of an authentic playthrough where I don't talk about the show, I have a playlist linked in the description that I played in November. I played this game in November. Raining, gonna do us any good. Maybe less soldiers will be out now. I'm actually outside. <laughs> I wonder how long after the outbreak it took for these walls to go up. Like a couple years or less? Up this way. Here's the scene. I do like how the scene the guard and this scene in the show is the same one that Joel was smuggling to. But then he had a flashback of Sarah. On your knees. You scan them, I'll call it in. Put your hands on your head. This is Ramirez at Sector 12, requesting pickup for three stragglers. Understood. Look the other way. We can make this worth your while. And they try to bribe him in the show, too. I think it's Joel that tries to bribe him, though. Mm -hmm. What's ETA? Couple minutes. Stabs him. Same thing happens in the show, and you just. Oh, in the TV show, Joel was just paymaker in them. Fuck! I thought we were just gonna hold him up or something. I do have a fun fact about this scene. In The Last of Us uh, Remastered, or the original Last of Us, the PS3 version, um, Tess never points her gun here. They, they only changed so. this to where she points her gun at Ellie in the, the remake we of PS5. An infected girl? I'm not infected. No? Was this lying? I can explain. You better explain fast. Yeah, that was not in the original version of this, this game. I don't care how oh. you got infected. She was supposed to be wearing it's short sleeves, but since old, we have the outfit on. <laughs> so you stop That's bullshit. funny. It's three weeks. I swear. The outfit doesn't help that. <laughs> Why would she say you up? Look at my sleeve. You better move. This will take about 15 minutes, I think. In the, in the game, it showed it in like two or three, but that's just because I have to speed it up. I get that. I am gonna try to hurry through this, though. Holy shit! I got two dead uniforms. I repeat, I got two Follow me. Quickly. You don't have to fight these guys, but. It's hard not to later on. When I give you the signal, we run. Signal, run. I'm going now. I don't know about you guys. Now, come on. Stay away from those lights. When he goes, I'll go. I'll follow him back. I think in the, my playthrough in no, November, I think I did get busted here. Yeah. 
camera because I re-recorded that video like 15 times. But I like that it did show like the tunnels and stuff in the show of them going through it. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Soldiers, right there. Let's see him, I see him. They must have gotten through. Check the trenches. Just stay back. I don't see anything down there. Are we sure they came this way? As we're told no. otherwise, we just keep scanning. Stay down, don't let him see you. Come on, kid. Follow Joel. Look the other way. I think we gotta get in that tunnel, which is very tricky. But in a minute he moves, I think. Is it that tunnel or is it further down? I honestly can't remember. I can't remember where we go. Can you see anything? Clear back here. How's a look up ahead? So far, so good. Yeah. We go this way. This show is pretty intense in the. Well, this part was pretty intense in the show. I don't necessarily like playing this part, but it's part of the game. You I hear him up ahead. And you can fight these guys, but I would never recommend it. And he's gonna come over here and look. Right? Yeah. And that's when you sneak up. And then up here is a whole different ball game. Oh. I did get caught though. We can get through here. I think there is gear in here to be honest. Duct tape are full, of course. I don't think they can get down to where we're at. And let's pull this up. And this next part is pretty tricky. Down there. Come on. Come on, Ellie. But once we get through this, we're in the home stretch, so. Let's go. So in the show they didn't have anything like this too much. I honestly kind of just want to fire on them to make this easy. In the show we definitely did get caught and we definitely had to kill these all, but it is possible to sneak by them. How are we supposed to pass them? They do have the bulletproof armor though. If I had my rifle rounds, they have bulletproof rounds. Yeah, like they, these people are hard, and it is if you're playing for the first time, sneak past them. Just. Take my word for it. You know, it's probably a bad idea. Tess, watch my back. Where's more? That one that's up on the balcony, though, you gotta watch out for. There's one up on the balcony, and that's the one you, we, we have to watch out for. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but I don't know why. I, my plan was to sneak past them. I don't know what gave me the urge to open fire on them, but something did. We're going to go in health kit. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have done this, but some for some reason I just got the urge to open fire on these guys. There should be one more on the ground, yeah. Just make sure that one on the roof cannot see you. That's the biggest thing. Now the one on the roof cannot see me. Man down. So now we just have the one on the roof. And if you sneak by him, you kind of sneak through all of this and you end up coming out out there. That's the ideal route. I was just trying to have a little fun. And I don't know what gave me the urge to do this. There we go, he's dead. That should be all of them. Yeah, so I would not recommend that, but for some reason I just had the urge to do it. We'll do that really quick since we used a lot of ammo. I just don't know why I thought... But we did it. Would not recommend it. But yeah, we did it. 
and now we can get out of here and this episode's wrapping up like i said these episodes will go up every tuesday following the hbo show that premieres every sunday i think we go through here right maybe i guess you can go either way that's the the what i would recommend if you're sneaking was to go through that way though but yeah, the hbo show premieres every sunday We'll be doing these episodes, one episode a week, every Tuesday. They'll all be about an hour long. Some will be longer, especially like the Pittsburgh way. one. That might be like a three-hour episode. Because so I, different. last time, I put it into two episodes. But this time, I have to do the whole game and, and Left Behind in nine videos. Because that's what the HBO show is going to be. So definitely calls for longer videos yeah. every Tuesday. Let's see where this leads. I want a lot of comments. I want everyone sharing their opinions on the show and just on everything else. And we still have a couple more minutes, actually. I thought well, this was done, but I forgot about this last part. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm here. So about five more minutes, actually. But yeah, everything I said. I mean, there's not no more fighting though. We'll kind of breeze through this part. I think we can squeeze through here. I don't think there's any loot in here, but we have to check now that I used everything we got. Charlie Squad, report! Shit, shit! I got more soldiers. Still on the loose, sir. But they they call them back. Report back to sector 11. I don't think they see us. Acknowledge. Get to your vehicle. Perfect. Stay in the shadows. And they gave up looking for us. And I don't remember really how you escape all these guys in the in the TV show. I definitely need to rewatch, but I think they just get get past them. Loot in here really quick. Looting is a big part of the game. So if you're watching this and you never played the game, looting is very important. That's a big part of the game. I might cut some of it out later, but no, they're still around. But take a moment to get your breath. Joel, see if there's anything we can use. Oh, I'm already on that test. Sure thing, boss. We can make some stuff. We'll make another one of those. Yeah. How we do? We haven't found any pills yet, have we? We're still at 45. And really, the only way to go is this way, and we're almost past all these guys. Yes. Up through here, through this pipe. I think we can make it through here. I don't know why, but I really want to play Far Cry. <laughs> I don't know why that just came to my mind, but... Jesus. And we're going to get through here? We're returning to the wall. And this is kind of right where the show left off. We will, I will show this cutscene, though. We're in downtown Boston. All right, there you go. Look, what was the plan? Let's say that we deliver you to the Fireflies. What then? Marlene's. Yeah. She said that they have their own little quarantine zone with doctors there still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? <laughs> And that whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she It did. is very unbelievable, but... Fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. Me neither. Tess, what the hell are we doing here? What if it's true? What if... I can't... You never know. What if, Joel? I mean, we've come this far. Let's just finish it. Do I need to remind you what is out there? clickers which the hbo show never showed clickers okay. so it will be episode two in the museum i think just how it is in the game and one good thing i'm looking forward to in the next episode episode two neil Druckmann actually directed craig mazin directed the other not or the other eight but episode two is directed by neil Druckmann. this way the museum i assume we'll have the test scene the Capitol building by sunrise. we're gonna end this episode here we hope kind of where the show ended thank you guys for watching we'll be doing one video of the last of us every Tuesday following the HBO show that premieres on Sunday, trying to closely resemble the show end at the same points, but I know that won't be 100% possible every time. Um, and then we'll be doing five Resident Evil videos a week. We're getting ready to start Resident Evil 3 this weekend. Um, so five Resident Evil videos Thursday through Monday, and then on Tuesdays, Resident Evil Wednesdays, we're taking off on the channel. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I want everyone's feedback in the comments from the show and the video. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys in The Last of Us next week.